this video, we'll take our first steps with using LaTeX. To get started, open Technic Center and open and save a new document. You can do this by clicking on the new page icon in the far top left corner. This brings up a blank document that you need to save before you can proceed. You can save by clicking File and Save As. For now, I'm going to save this on the desktop and call the file example. This creates a file called example.tech or .tex. The tech file extension is a document that you put LaTeX code into. This is different from the actual document that we're going to produce in just a few moments. By typing in LaTeX in to this example.tech file. You control everything from the spacing of your document to the style of your tables to the automatic generation of your references. Now we'll go through all of those things but for now let's just get a bare bones document working. At a minimum you'll need the following typesetting commands to create a LaTeX document. First we're going to start with the command document class and we're gonna say document class article now this shows us a couple of features of a typical LaTeX command first notice that we started here with a backslash anything that starts with a backslash in LaTeX is used as a command rather than actual text in this case the name of the command is document class then notice that I've got open and close curly braces and I've got the word article inside that. The term article in this case is an argument for the document class command. It tells LaTeX that we want to create an article and we'll see later in the course that we can change this to create other types of documents. Next I'm going to leave a little bit of space and I'm going to type backslash begin document. Then I'm going to leave some more space and at the end add end document. Anything that we type within the begin and end document commands gets created as part of our document. So go ahead and type something within those two commands. Once we've had these four different things, document class, begin and end document, and some text, we can create our document. We're now ready to compile our document. Technic Center shows three options for compiling your document. DVI, PDF, and PS. These are found in this menu here. PDF is the easiest in my opinion and it makes the most sense because anyone can view your document with a free PDF viewer. So make sure you select LaTeX to PDF from this drop down menu. Now in a real document you'll use introductory commands in a section of the text called the preamble. That, that text will go right here after document class but before begin document. And we'll talk about that in a few moments. But for now, let's compile this document into a PDF. The way we do that is by clicking this button right here. And we see that a PDF comes up with our document. And it has the text that we typed in between begin and end document. Also notice that back in Technic Center, there is a menu here showing the LaTeX result. It gives us information on errors or other problems with the compilation of the LaTeX document. As we see, there are no problems in this case, but later on as we make a more complex document, we can use this 
as an indicator of things that might have gone wrong. So that's the basics of what you need to do to create a document. Now let's talk about just a few additional options that we can add. First off, we can add optional arguments to many different commands with square brackets. For example, with document class, I can put square brackets before the curly braces and type 12 PT. That stands for 12 point font. So this will make the text just a little bit bigger. If I click compile again, we can see that. Slightly bigger text than we saw before. But other options include 11 point or 10 point font. Here in this case we see smaller text. Additionally, let's get the preamble of this document started. As I mentioned a few moments ago, the preamble is code that we put after the document class command but before begin document. It's how we use many different options for our document in LaTeX. The most common command that you'll use in the preamble is backslash use package. Use package tells LaTeX to find a particular package or additional set of commands that do a particular purpose. For example, if we typed use package graphic X, that package allows us to insert graphics into a LaTeX document. Another one we might want to do is use package set space. That will allow us to set the spacing of our document. For example, double spacing or one half spacing. The preamble in a typical LaTeX document gets pretty large with lots of use package commands and other commands. And as we go forward in uh, creating an article, we will see more examples of those packages and how to use them.